Whoa, look at how cool these guys look. That's crazy. Pets and Astroneer. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Subscribe, yo. What's up, guys? It's Ultra, and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're back with some more Astroneer. So, basically, the last video we left off when we were activating the gateway chamber. So, what we're gonna do now is activate the next one. So, let's go do that. As we're making our way to Gateway Chamber, and we're encountering some debris. So basically, debris, what you use for it is that you can pick this up, store it in your inventory, and take it to a shredder. And as you shred it, you can get this thing called Scrap, which you then put the scrap in a trading platform to get certain ores the trading platform allows you to make. You can only put certain debris into certain shredders. There's three shredders in Astroneer being the medium one, the small one, and the large one. The bigger the debris, the more scrap you get. Alright guys, we finally made it to the second gateway chamber, so let's go ahead and activate this thing. Okay guys, so I think it's time for us to start heading in space now, so let's craft a solid field thruster. And in order to do that, you need to have 500 bytes, and it costs aluminum and ammonium, so let's do that. And just to get started, we're just going to craft a small shuttle. This costs 1,500 bytes, so we can get that, because we're the richest person in Astroneer. Also, if you want to craft a landing pad for your shuttle, it costs 750 bytes, and it costs aluminum and ceramic. In order to make this shuttle, you have to buy a large printer that costs 3 compound. Alright guys, so Ashenia just recently added this new update called the XML Biology Update. So we're going to get a first look at that guys. One of the missions for that new update was to gather 3 sapphires. So let's see what that thing gives us. Whoa! What in the world is this? Strange object. You're right about that. I think we're gonna place it right here. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, that is so cool! It's another base! Whoa! And we got a mission for doing that. That's cool. You can hold an oxygenator too. Okay, let's put this oxygenator in. Oh, another mission. Nice. Let's go claim that now. See what it gives us. Some more bites. That's a lot. Okay, now it says we have to provide some power to this thing. Mm, I should have some power cells at the, the base over here. Let me check. Okay, let's turn this thing on now. Whoa, look at it fill up. That was fast. Okay, we got another mission. <gasps> Galactropods. What is that? Oh, it has a cable here. Alright, so I just figured out I already had an oxygenator over here, but it's okay. Now we have an extra one so we can use it to walk around for infinite oxygen. Now back to this Galactropods thing. What is that? It's like, is it like a type of pet or something? Let's go check the... Oh, we can activate it. Whoa. Okay, let's read this real quick. Alright guys, so I just read the thing and it says they're space snails and you have to find them and capture them around the different planets. So that's cool. And in order to do that, it says we have to scan five shells on Sylvia and they says they're found in the forest. So we'll get to that later. That's so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and claim our mission that's going to give us this. Oh, nice! We finally got a QTRGG, a solid fuel thruster, and a field shelter. Nice! Now we can use like a mini base. Alright guys, so we have to do our mission called Refined Tungsten, which is in Planet D Solo, so that's where we're gonna go right now. And after we smelt it, it's gonna give us wool fight, which we need for lots of things. Alright, nice. So we're going up into space. This is so cool. Okay, where's Planet D Solo? Okay, let's land there. Alright, now that we've officially landed at Planet D Solo, now we have to go ahead and find this tungsten underground.
All right, guys, so we finally made it down to a key. All we do now is find Tungsten, and I also think the bites in Planet D Solo are worth more than Sylvia, so let's check. Nice, we got 98 bites from that. So that's good, it's way more. Some debris over here. Some hazard plants. You need to watch out for those. All right, guys, so we can place our shelter down here now. So let's place that right there. That's good. Whoa, it looks so cool. And we also found one piece of wolf fight, so that's also good. Um, let's put um, a battery on it. Okay, guys, we finally found the wolf fight. So now we can go ahead and collect that. And we also, while we were down here, we also found two chess pieces, which is cool. We just need to find a whole bunch of other chess chess pieces later on. All right, back to Sylvia now. I also think we can see our shelter up here. Okay, that's cool. Even when it's in the cave, you can see it. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and smelt our wolf fight now. Okay, we have a lot of ores now, so I think we need to craft a medium silicone. Whoa, that's a lot of bites, but let's craft it anyway. And it says we need titanium. I don't remember which planet you get titanium from, so let me check real quick. In resources, titanium. Okay, we have to go to Vesanya. Okay. While we're at it, let's go ahead and buy a chemistry lab because buying a chemistry lab, we can combine ores and make new ones. That's going to be super cool to use. One of the ingredients we need to make this chemistry lab is quartz, which we then can refine as glass. Okay, so we finally have enough quartz, so let's go ahead and smelt this into glass. It also says we need some tungsten and ceramic, and we have both of those, so let's go ahead and craft this thing. Okay, we're just going to make our area a little bit more bigger because we need a lot more space to work with over here now that we have a spaceship and all other stuff. Alright, this thing can go right here. Let's connect that and put our chemistry thing right on the top. And our other platform that can go right next to that so we can put our soil centrifuge on top. So for crafting the chemistry lab, you'll be awarded with a thousand bytes. That's a lot of bytes. And while we're at it, let's craft the atmosphere condenser because that's also what we're going to need. All right, so in order to make the atmosphere condenser, we're going to need iron. So in order to get iron, we're going to have to go to Planet Glacio. So let's go there. All right, so we finally landed at Glacio. I think I see iron over there, so I'm just going to walk over there and get some. Alright guys, so while looking for iron, we found this cool piece of dynamite which we can use to explode things obviously. So we're gonna get that and this battery over here. Nice. Alright, so we got what we came for, so now we can go back to Sylvia. Alright guys, I just found that it's actually called hematite and then when you smelt it, then it turns into iron. So we're gonna go ahead and smelt this right now so we can use it. Alright, so we can place this thing right here. Let's see what Sylvia gives us. Alright, so we get hydrogen from Sylvia, so let's go ahead and make that. Alright, so let's go back to this Galactopod thing. We found one of the shells already. Let's find the other ones now. Okay, there's another one over here. We just need to find two more now. Where? Oh, there's one right here. Nice. While looking for the shelf, we found an auto arm, so we're going to take that with us because we can use this to pick up stuff and transport it. Alright guys, so we can finally use our dynamite on one of these ch locked chests. So let's blow this thing up. Oh, let's back away from it so it doesn't blow us up. Whoa! Okay, let's see what this thing dropped. Let's collect this bite real quick though. Oh, almost slipped. Okay, an exochip. Nice! My first exochip. Alright guys, so now it says we have to fill the terrarium with soil, so let's go ahead and do that and zinc, okay? I think we just put it through the top. 
Whoa, we just sucked up all that soil. It's already becoming a mini terrain. All right, let's place the zinc now. There we go. And now we have to find the seed. Okay, I've seen these seeds before. It's a bounce line seed and it's on top of those mountains. So let's go climb a mountain. Alright, now we can just finally get this seed. Oh, it's really great. No. Okay, let's just take the other one. Alright, let's put this seed into terrain now. Whoa, it's a mini Sylvia world. That looks so cool. Alright, for doing that, we get a small trumpet. I wonder what this is used for. Besides making horrible music. Listen to that. All right, what do we do next? Attach the horn to the small terrain. Okay, that's cool. Let's see what this sounds like. Whoa, it's a little pet. Cool, Galactopod. Oh, so this is a Galactopod. Okay, emo wheel. Okay, let's just do a random emo. Oh, he likes it. That's so cool. Oh, where you go now? Alright, let's see if we can catch him. Let's try to put the thing on him. Oh, it doesn't grab him? We have to do another emote? Okay, let's just wait. Oh, he doesn't like that one. Hmm. Let's try that again. Okay, it doesn't Wait. Befriend him. Oh! Oh, it just sucked him right into the terrain. That is cool. Let's see what he looks like. Okay, let's see if we can open him through our book bag. Gas. Let's click that. Oh, there he is. We can pet him. Oh, that's so cute. Look at him doing the little peekaboo thing. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, now since we have to put him in the exnobiology thing, so let's put him in there and see what happens. Okay. Whoa, what in the world is going on? They're just scanning his DNA. We completed another achievement, verifying, so let's go see what that gives us. Okay, it says we can feed him, so let's see how we do that. I just got one of these seeds, so hopefully. Whoa! Just ate it all up. And for feeding him, that's gonna give us a QTRT. Nice. So now we have another one. Alright, guys. So we just went to Planet the Solo and collected all five of the shells to get this terrain. So what we're gonna do now is do what it says by filling it and putting the seed and what ore it needs. Alright, so we're gonna have to go to Planet Aatrox to get the Dag Root Seed, so let's go ahead and go do that. This is one of my least favorite planets because there's a lot of stuff, dangerous stuff here at this planet. One of them being this plant that literally could shoot you when you walk near it, and it's literally right there, so we're gonna have to avoid that. Alright, we finally found the plant, so let's go ahead and claim the seed and be on our way because I do not like this planet at all. Oh no, there goes that plant again. I'm gonna have to avoid that. Hopefully it doesn't get me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Come on, let's go. Oh, the other one hit me too. Alright guys, so let's put the dag root seed in here so we can do our next thing. Nice, we got a little mini to solo island here that looks cool. In order for us to get this pet, we have to go back to Planet e Solo so we can retrieve him. Alright, all we have to do is put the horn on this and wait so we can do the emote. Oh, he looks so cute! Look at it! Okay, let's go emote to him. Alright, now we have to see where he went now. Where did he go? Oh, he went over here. Okay, so let's go over to him now. Okay, finally, let us befriend him. And now we have to go claim our next mission. 
Alright, now that we're back, let's put this guy up in here so they can scan his DNA. Okay, now that we have our second pet, now we have to go to Planet Calidor to get the five, scan the five shells so then we can unlock the Calidor pet. Alright guys, we finally made it to Planet Calidor. I don't really go to this planet a lot, but I do know a bit about it. So we're going to go ahead and find this Galactropod. Alright guys, I just checked my compass and it says that these shells we have to scan are underground. So let's go ahead and find some of these. Alright guys, we found the first two. These ones look super cool. They literally have like spikes on their back. So we have to find the other ones now. Alright guys, we finished scanning the shells, so now all we have to do is claim our empty terrain and fill it with the soil and the seeds. Alright guys, we need to go back to Calidor in order to get the seed, but this is what the seed looks like. It's right over here, so let's go ahead and go get this thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the seed in, then we can go ahead and go see the Calidor pet. Whoa, these pets just get keep getting cooler and cooler. Okay, let's go emo to him. Okay, so we should be able to befriend him now, so let's see if it lets us get him. Nice, so now we have three of these little guys. Let's bring this dude back to Sylvia. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh, okay, so they each have a different little emo. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, he can go right here along with the other guys. Let's get a close-up of all three of these things. Okay, so first it was the one from Sylvia, then D Solo, and now Calidor. Now we have to get the next one. Okay, so there's seven of the Galactropods. We already have three, we just need to get the other four. Alright guys, so now we're gonna go to Vasanya to get the next Galactropod. I'm very interested to see what this one's going to look like. Before we go, let's put this medium silicone thing here so we can put all our ores on it because we really needed this and now we have it. Alright guys, we just finished going to Planet Vasanya to get the Terrarium. Now we're at Planet Novus to fill the Terrarium with Lithium so we can get our next pet. Okay guys, luckily we spawned right next to this crash site and I just saw a um, lithium there but we have to go fly back real quick because we're losing oxygen. Alright, let's go ahead and fill the terrarium with lithium. Okay, this one looks the coolest out of all of them so far. That is so cool. A little Vasanya world in there. So the last thing we're going to need for the terrarium is this Lash Leaf Seed, which we, are, we just got just now. So we're going to go ahead and place this into the terrarium. Okay, so we're back at Planet Vasanya, so let's go ahead and find our pet. Whoa, this is the coolest one so far. Okay, we should be able to befriend her now, so let's see if it works. Nice! So now let's take this princess. Oh, cool. So it is a princess. We're gonna take her back to Sylvia now. Alright guys, so this is what all four of them looks like. We got the princess here, the one from Sylvia here, this is the one from Kalidor, and then... The other one is 
from the solo. So those are the four pets we got so far. So if you guys enjoyed this Ashina gameplay, drop a like on this video, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Subscribe, yo.